Listen up, you jive-ass turkeys! So tomorrow is the 17th of November, which is actually my birthday, and yeah, I know there are literally only two people in the world who care about that, me and the Grim Reaper, because it means that he's one step closer to having his way with me. And because I didn't have a review plan for this week, and trying to be original makes blood come out of every orifice I have, I decided to do a birthday Q&A. So if you've ever watched one of my videos and thought to yourself, what the fuck is wrong with this guy, now's your chance to find out. First question comes from Ramona, who says, hey, uh, who are you? My girlfriend. Well, your girlfriend knows how to ask a good question. <laughs> But yeah, I might as well let you know a bit about me. Uh, my name is Charlie, I'm 19, and I'm gonna be 20 tomorrow, which is nutty. Uh, I live in Brighton, I like video games, most kinds of music, YouTube, swear words, and dead, dead, dead memes. Like, the deader the better. That's how I roll, d d homie. My main man, Max, says, I'm sentencing you to death. Finally, it's about time. What would be your last meal per your request before you go? Well, since it is my last meal, I obviously want the best of the best, so I'm thinking, a gourmet steak dinner with a delicious flowery baked potato, of course served with a wide selection of sauces and spices and for pudding. Just a big old bag of dicks. Dennis says, I'm a Netflix executive, pitch me your TV series. Okay, I, I got you dude, I, I got the next big thing right here man, you're gonna love it. So, what's the one thing that literally everyone in the universe absolutely loves? That's right, minions. So we take the minions, put them in a TV show, we'll get thousands of new memes. I mean, we're gonna be fucking billionaires. AlexaCat asked, any specific YouTubers that inspired you to start? Well, I was mostly inspired by the big boy game reviewers like Cadicarus, Pro Jared, and Jontron. But even though he's not really a YouTuber, I'd say my biggest inspiration, at least for the reviews, is Yahtzee who does zero punctuation. I, I live and breathe for that shit. Jward says, you've got an hour left to live. What hat are you choosing on Duck Game? Come on, man. Y you know me better than that. Hats are for suckers. I take the sunglasses every time. Snowy asked, why the bear sona and the focus on having a more foresty aesthetic? Bet you're a filthy furry, aren't you? Oh, oh, isn't that funny? Look at me, everyone. I'm Snowy, and I make everyone laugh with my funny jokes and my huge penis. But really, even though furries are absolutely fine in my books, I am not one. In fact, the only reason I have a bear as my mascot is because I used to have this work of art as my profile picture but I got bored of it, so I sent it to my artist friend Spacey, whose Tumblr is in the description, go show some love, and they drew this. And I still love it a lot to this day, but to be honest, I feel like I need to change it soon, because I'm just so tired of telling that story every time someone calls me a furry. I mean, it's just a bear. It's just a cute little bear, dude. I don't want to fuck it. Whatever, let, let's just move on to the next question. Goldie Blues asked, when did you become a furry? God damn it! Pentagrin said, as a game reviewer, why do you choose to effectively torture yourself with terrible games? <sighs> I don't know, dude, but you're absolutely right. I, I need to stop playing these awful games. I mean, Mario Odyssey, absolute shit. Cuphead, fucking abysmal. Bubsy? But Bubsy's fine, actually. That that was pretty good. Phoenix Blade had four questions for me. Are you gonna run for president? What are your views on climate change? What are your thoughts on gun control? And are you a left Twix or a right Twix kind of guy? See, out of all of the questions, this is the only one that makes sense to me. I don't have a political bone in my body. Also, right Twix, obviously. Ranton asked, am I as cool as you? <laughs> Probably. Maytem says, how spicy are your memes, my dude? Well, like I said, they're all dead, so about as spicy as water. Akio had just one word for me. Yes? How fucking dare you. JB had a few questions. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Probably dead. How many giraffes do you own? That's private. Mushrooms or pineapple on your pizza? I would rather have nails than either of those things. And what's our band's name going to be? Well, uh, I would make fun of the spelling error, but uh, let's just say I'm not one to judge. Court says, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, definitely the Minions show on Netflix. It's television at its finest, pure gold. A panda said, are you thinking about branching out and doing other types of content besides reviews? I absolutely am. I'm still thinking about what kind of stuff I want to do. You know, I could do more funny moment stuff, some top 10 lists, and hey, maybe when I'm comfortable and have a good enough camera, I'll 
show my face and horrify you all. Seriously, I do definitely want to do more. I just got to figure some stuff out first. And finally, Dubsy asked a lot. Just, just a whole lot of questions. Too many questions. Just w way above the acceptable amount of questions. It helped me. But joke's on you, buddy. Because I'm not going to answer any of them. In fact, I'm going to end the video right now. Okay, I'll answer one. Uh, what do you do to relax? Well, usually when I've had a bad day and I need to wind down, I'll just get a snack, crawl into my bed, stick on a funny movie that I've already seen like five times, and drown my sorrows in vodka and pills. Works every time. So yeah, that's the- that's the Q&A. Uh, sorry I didn't answer all the questions I got, I just didn't want this video to go on for too long. But a uh, big thanks to everyone who asked me something, I- I really appreciate it. Was this whole thing a disaster? Probably, but you know what? It's a disaster that we shared together, and at the end of the day, that's what being human is all about. Until next time, you guys stay beautiful, and I'm gonna keep sharing the same birthday as Danny DeVito, Martin Scorsese, and the Portuguese football player Nani Ono. <laughs> Nani, what a good